guys, so today I'm going to do my how I curl my medium length hair tutorial. Some of you have sent me emails and left comments saying that you wanted to see a tutorial on the hairstyle that I was wearing on my previous video and um, yeah I thought I'd show you how I do it because I've only just learned how to do it. The tool that I'm using is the same that I used on my previous how I curl my hair tutorial but on that tutorial I had long hair so the technique is different but the tool is the same. It's from Enrapture and it's called the Encode Styler I think something like that but it's my favourite tool, I've explained on a video before why. If you watched my previous video on how I curl my hair, you'll see that all I did was sort of wrap my hair around it, but because my hair is shorter now, it's much harder because it has shorter layers, so when you do this, it doesn't sort of curl every bit of hair, so I've had to resort to the clip, the clasp, whatever this is called, and now I'm doing my hair using this because this can hold the hair in place whilst I'm deciding you know, what I'm going to do with it. So that's basically the different technique that I've been using. Also, on my previous How I Curl My Hair tutorial, I used the technique which I'm going to use today, which is to curl one strand of hair away from my face and the other one towards my face. And that gives me the most amount of volume and the curls don't all sort of curl up together. So yeah, that's how I like to do it when I want volume. Last time I did one side and then the other side, which was fine when my hair was longer, but when it's shorter, when my hair starts to cool down, um, the curls drop much faster than it did before. So if I do one side and then I do the other side, one side is always going to be, um, the curls are going to drop quicker than the other one, so it's always going to be one side curlier than the other. So I've decided to change my method to doing alternate one strand from each side of my hair. So I'm going to turn this on now and I will wait for it to heat up and whilst I do that I'm going to just brush my hair with my tangle teaser just to make sure I get rid of any knots that may be there. And then I just section it in two sides like this. I select a very small piece, I'm going to be working with very very small pieces because I I think that's the best way to do it. I think I got these clips from Boots or Poundland, I'm not sure, but you can get them anywhere and they're just really handy to sort of keep your hair away from your face. If I'm looking down it's because I've got a mirror down there, so that's why. Same thing with the other side, so I've got two little bits of hair and they're very very small. In order for you to get the curl to go away from your face, the way that I do it is on the left hand side I place the clip up and roll the hair the direction that it would normally go. On the right hand side I place the clip down and roll the hair the direction that it would normally go. So if I want the curl to go towards my face on the left side I place the clip down and on the right side I place the clip up. I'll start with the left side. So left side up, place the hair in there. Doesn't matter if you've left, you're left with a big piece of, of hair hanging from the end there because all you want is to start. And then you just start opening the clip very little bits at a time just to make sure that all the hair actually gets curled even at the ends. This way I make sure that all the bits of hair curl, even the ones that are shorter because of the layers of my hair. So that's basically what I do, just turning it around, opening the clip, and there you've got the first curl. Facing down so I can get the curl away from my face. Twist it and then start sliding the clip slowly to make sure all bits of hair curl. My hair is a bit difficult to curl today because I had hairspray on it yesterday and so it's sort of sticking a little bit to the curling iron. And then the same thing on the next side, another bit of hair, split it into two, the bit at the back I'm going to do away from my face, so clip at the bottom and roll. So it's basically this all the way around with every little strand of hair. So I suggest you either put on a movie to play or some music 
and get yourself entertained but not distracted because you don't want to burn yourself and um, carry on doing it until you're finished. So I'll be back when I've made some progress here because I'll just carry on doing exactly the same thing and I will be right back. So it looks like I'm making some progress here. I just thought I'd show you again and give you another tip if you're curling your hair after you've put hairspray on it. It will be a bit difficult to slide it along the barrel so I suggest that if you're using this technique try and slide the ends into the barrel before you start rolling all the hair up and that will make your life much easier which is something that I have just learned. The moment the hair heats up with hairspray on it gets really difficult to move the hair around because it gets very sticky. So now I'm pretty much at the end of it. So I try to curl it back and um, the front I just always put it to the side where my parting is. So I'll just show you how I curl this bit at the back. I just place the clip at the bottom, slide the ends of the hair in, which seems to be already, and start twisting and turning till I get to the end of the barrel and hold it up there for a few seconds and let go. And then just try and throw it at the back as much as possible. I always try to not do the roots because I don't want that much volume especially at the front I try to leave just the ends and the middle of the hair curled and finally the last bit of hair which is always the most important so we'll try and get it right and now to the most important part, which is to loosen up the curls so that you don't go out looking like crazy. So just run your fingers through your hair very gently, making sure that you're loosening the curls slightly but not getting rid of them completely. So you're basically just running your fingers through them so that they look more like wavy curls than curly curls. Same on the other side. Like I said before, I had hairspray on my hair before I curled it so that's not ideal for the this hairstyle that I am trying to achieve. Normally I wouldn't have done that. And that's pretty much it. Throughout the next 10-15 minutes the curls will drop even more. They'll keep dropping throughout the day. Sometimes I prefer how they look after they've dropped for about an hour, but I quite like the way that they look now. And yeah, this is the tutorial. I hope you guys found that useful and that you'll be able to recreate this style. Um, please leave your questions below if you have any questions regarding what I've done and the tools I used and the method I used. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you guys want to see any more hair tutorials, if you want to see how I straighten my shorter hair, if you want to see how I blow dry it, so just leave it on the comments below. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and um, I'll see you on my next video. Bye!